Joining us now to discuss BTC price analysis is Trade the Chain Director of Research, Nick Mancini. Nick, we have some charts. Is there a flight to safety going on into Bitcoin? What is the sentiment out there for BTC? Hi, thank you for having me. Um, as of right now, uh, that answer would uh, be no. Uh, the sentiment has been quite bearish for the past several weeks. We've, of course, had a few instances of bullish sentiment, as you can see on the chart, when we flatlined for several days and many bullish calls for higher prices uh, cropped up. But of course, you know, back to bearishness has been more or less the mantra lately. And right now, we're not really seeing much of a flight anywhere other than to uh, mostly cash and, you know, a few things like government bonds as well. When, uh, you know, when the government is paying, you know, 4% or higher and the uh, S&P 500 and crypto is is facing, you know, anywhere from 30 to 70% drop offs, uh, the, the safest place to be is unfortunately, you know, sometimes the most obvious, and that's the one paying the, the highest yields. And there's very little yield being generated in crypto with, of course, the lack of market makers, large hedge funds blowing up, um, and of course, many brokerages facing insolvency uh, or similar. So right now, it seems that uh, the flight is, is certainly to cash uh, around the globe, not even just in crypto. Mm -hmm. Actually, we also have Bitcoin's inverse relationship with the dollar uh, looking consistent throughout the year, though during the FTX collapse in November, we saw a positive correlation developing. What, what are you seeing? Right now, the correlation definitely seems to be negative. Uh, I will say that the Bank of Japan move that happened earlier this week is definitely throwing some turmoil into the markets. Uh, but what we have right here is uh, I lined out some DXY, uh, which is the US dollar index supports uh, and resistance levels. And right now we're sitting at a very key support level with an RSI trend break, as we can see at on the bottom. This is the daily chart. So if the RSI trend continues higher, it will be a confirmed trend break. And I would suspect that the dollar would continue higher over the next week or weeks into the new year, which should have a negative impact on crypto uh, as well as equities. I would, and, and crypto has a high beta to equities. The, the correlation has certainly decreased uh, since it, its peak earlier this year, but uh, more or less uh, where equities move, crypto ends up following. And if the dollar is increasing, uh, that signals that, a, that it is a risk off environment and risk is crypto and equities and, and crypto being being more risky right. in the pot, uh, therefore facing likely a, a steeper downturn. 